Hello everyone, uh, just a really quick little video today. Uh, this here, for anybody who's not following me currently on various social medias, is what I have done so far for my space pirate army. So quick little lore background on these guys, this is a mixed race space pirate army being led by squats. These are squats that escaped the destruction of their homeworld by some tyranids who came and basically ate everybody. So they've turned to piracy to fund their growing mercenary army, which basically is uh, for the purpose of taking revenge on the Tyranids and, uh, you know, going out into the galaxy and, and purging and fighting them. So, you know, they, they do some questionable things. There's definitely some raiding. There's definitely some stealing of supplies and you know, ammunition and whatnot because the squats, while low in number, are, uh, are very resourceful people and, uh, you know, they're able to make use of a lot of that. But so they have no problem working with various factions, various Xenos. Basically, if you're willing to fight when they tell you to and you're willing to stand against the Tyranids, they're more than happy to have you in their ranks. Uh, so just really quickly I'll show you starting with the back here what I have done so far for these guys. There is a lot more on the way. Um, this guy here, so uh, real quick, this army is going to play as uh, Astrid Militarum uh, Tempestus Scions. So everything you see here should be able to fit into a Scions army or a Guard army. So this here would be my uh, Tech Priest, which uh, is represented by a squat a squat engineer guy here. Sorry the lighting is terrible. Uh, there's a lot better pictures on my Instagram. Maybe I'll throw some of those up as I'm showing these off. But uh, Yep, as you can see here, this is uh, this guy here. I, oh, I wrote a ton of little lore blurbs for these guys too. I forget what I named this guy, but you know, basically he works on the ships and whatnot. Uh, maintains their, their vehicles, their ragtag fleet. This guy here, I just did recently. So this is the leader of the uh, the main human component. So these are uh, guard renegades. Uh, basically, these guys were like elite uh, guard stormtroopers who were ordered into a suicide charge by an incompetent commissar. Uh, this guy, their leader, turned against him. Basically, loaded that commissar into a basilisk, shot it at the enemy, and then they took the took their leave and never looked back. They've been mercenaries ever since, so they're happy to work for the squats in exchange for, you know, a little, little more, a little more respect. Uh, he also has, uh, you know, in true pirate fashion, he has acquired a Xenos uh, parrot in the form of this weird uh, bug creature. So uh, I actually, just, this is the most recent one. I just finished him the other day. Quite happy with him. Now this large orc here is. Nork Dead Dog. See how there's there's already Orc in the name there. So he is a Ogren or Bulgren character. You can take in a guard army. Basically, he's like a bodyguard for the uh, guard leadership. Uh, super loyal, super dumb. Uh, and so his actual model, he's armed with a huge knife, a uh, big, you know, inaccurate shooting weapon, and he also is able to do a headbutt attack. So I'm like that fits a pirate space orc perfectly so that's where we have this guy so he's going to be bodyguarding uh, other characters and there's more characters to come we have this little guy here which i believe i named him officer chitters something like that so he is going to he is representing a uh officer of the fleet which is just a little a little guard character who basically you can just like call in airstrikes and whatnot my idea for him is that they actually he's part of the crew but they all hate him so they are like oh yeah 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 you have to stand really close when you call the airstrikes in and they're like kind of purposely hoping that he'll blow himself up but he hasn't yet he's still stuck around so let's so they've got this guy here uh we've uh i've got so there's the the other one uh just broke in transportation i made these two uh cool uh lizard men characters um and basically they can be the uh the rattling characters from Blackstone Fortress, Rain and Rouse. But then honestly, I put so much work into this guy and I love him so much. I might just run him as like a Vindicare assassin. 
um, you know, I gave him this cool sniper rifle and whatnot, so I think that would be fine. So this could be a Vindicare, or he could be one half of the Rain and Rouse. As I said, the other one is done, he just needs to be glued back together. Uh, I also just recently did these gentlemen here. So I've got five uh, kitbashed Kroot here. So these are my Kroot Satyrs. They're representing uh, Crusader squads, um, which again are, are some guard units you can take. Uh, they're, they're armed typically with a power sword and a shield. So all these guys have some sort of a power weapon and shield. Anybody that's on my uh, Patreon will have seen these guys long ago, but um, now you guys can see them all too. I'll show off a couple of the other ones. They're all they're all super unique. Uh, the but the bodies for these are 3D prints, um, and then uh, they've been further kitbashed and tricked out by me, of course. This guy is probably one of my favorites. I just like his pose a lot. Pretty cool models. Uh, okay, and then so after that we're just into the troops. So I've got 25 Tempesta Scions uh, done. So these are a mix of squats, uh, more so the, some of those uh, Renegade Guard that I mentioned earlier, and then we've also got X Hive Gangers and uh, you know General Hive Scum, who of course uh, the Imperium is so shitty they're more than happy to uh, flee to a life of piracy. So. Um, use some uh, Gene Stealer Cults models as the basis for those because of course they are already in like uh, miners, minor gear so pretty easy to just kitbash those back into normal uh, once loyal citizens of the Imperium and then yeah these guys here uh, if you haven't seen them before they're really cool I haven't really done anything to these so these are uh, a special Forge World Guard Regiment They've got really sick models. I thought they looked uh, like they would specialize in deep space warfare, so I kind of like that. I've uh, I have customized some of them, like this guy's got a peg leg. Thought that was uh, appropriate for these being space pirates. Again, I apologize for the uh, for the noise and the poor lighting. Uh, still in the process of moving, so this is actually in my parents' basement, and not super organized. Squat there. I've uh, got a little, another squad of five dudes here. Um, again, these are some like just standard Caradron Overlord models. They were so cool, I didn't want to change them. So this guy, I would say he's armed with like a hot shot volley gun. Uh, same as that one there. And then uh, the sergeant's I, I did them a little bit, a little bit fancier. Of course, he's got a plasma pistol and he's got a war hammer, which will uh, represent either a power sword or a power fist, both of which uh, Tempest or uh, sergeants can have. And again, over here, we've got another mix of those Renegade Guard and some Hive Scum here. Um, this guy here, I tried to, I actually had a lot of fun painting up the Hive Scum guys. I kind of want to have more of them. They're just uh, really fun and unique, doing crazy hairstyles on all of them. And this guy here. I'm actually just noticing that there is one missing. So he must still be in the box somewhere. There is one that has a glorious orange mustache um, that I now I'm not seeing here. So I'll have to dig him out and find him. Uh, but in his place, I guess this will be the last guy that I show off. Of course, he's a, a cool sergeant there again with power sword. But yeah, so that's everything I have done. Uh, there's a lot more on the way. There's, of course, uh, being a Tempestus army. There's going to be Valkyries. There's going to be... Uh, Torax Primes, lots more infantry, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do as the centerpiece yet. I might, I'll see what, when the Guard Codex comes out, if it's still viable to have a Guard component in there. Um, but if it is, I'll definitely add that in. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, sorry the, about the quality of this one. As I said, my si living situation right now is not ideal, um, but uh, should have more for you guys in the future soon. Uh, I know I said last weekend that I was going to do some streams, and then I didn't. Uh, I just ended up having some stuff come up and some technical issues, but should be able to have some this coming weekend. So uh, stay tuned for that, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.